welcome back to my channel my name is Trinaja G and I am your new favorite small youtuber I don't know why it's taking me a second to actually sit down and tell you about my Beyonce Renaissance concert experience y'all when I say the whole experience has been a roller coaster it's been a roller coaster. Let me take you back to actually getting the tickets. I really, I really wanted to video the whole thing. I wanted to make it like a whole vlog and everything, but y'all, it, it just, it just, it, it wasn't happening. So. Everybody is going crazy because they're realizing it's not just going on the internet and picking out your tickets and leaving. They had these wait times. And if you got picked, you get waited. You got to wait in a queen, keen, if I'm saying that right, not queen, keen. And whatever tickets was left over, you had to hurry up and get it because somebody still could have got that type thing. So I was at work and I was like, I am clocking out. I'm rushing home, which I did, and I, not FaceTime, but like I did like a three-way with the two other people that was coming with me and my friend Trent and his friend. Yo, I was so nervous. I literally had to send him my information for the account and my car info. I love Trent and I trusted him. So that's why I did that. So I am screaming. My heart is beating. I'm like, what if we don't get it? Because my friend didn't get it. Shout out to Crystal. My friend didn't get it. And I was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. We end up getting it. I was literally in the car about to turn into traffic when he was like, ah, I got it. Hi. was <laughs> about to hit the car. I really was. I was about to crash. I was like, oh my gosh. And you know what my first thought was? Please don't judge me for this. But I was like, none of y'all better not die or get sick. And I better not die and get sick until then. So we end up getting in and I was like, oh, I want to make this a whole thing. I want to vlog. I want to get a room. And the driving i was like oh i'm gonna drive up there or like i can meet you at your house because my friend he lives around atlanta but he doesn't live exactly in atlanta and we'll make it from there god it did not happen like that i don't really be having to go nowhere like i don't go out to no clubs i try not to go like places like you know far away because i don't really know nobody like that so What's the point? I, I am trying to get out trying to get in a car and drive in Atlanta by myself. The way that Atlanta people drive, I was clenching my pearls. I cannot. Like, I wasn't even driving or even in the front seat. I was in the back seat. Like, <laughs> the way they be merging over. So, we get to the actual week. And I did find somebody. And they basically canceled on me, which was understandable. So I tried to get somebody else, but they cut in because it really wasn't enough time to let their job know in a, like, a timely manner to give them that day off. Cool. Then I met some new people who I left and they got scheduled that day so they couldn't take me. And I am literally crying, crying, crying. I'm literally crying. And this takes me back to the outfit. So I had different versions of what I wanted to do. At first I wanted to do the that girl corset outfit, but I was like, there's nothing out here like that. And you know, the closer and closer and the more people that went and went, they were either making theirs or actual boutiques and online stores were selling it. I thought about, oh, let's just redo one of her outfits. And I was like, let's not do what everybody else is doing because everybody was doing the gloves and all of that. I did, so pay me, dun 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 dun, dun. okay? And I also did not know that was one of the outfits that she was gonna constantly change. Like it was never the same, which was cool. Oh. Um, I end up doing that. So I got a lookalike shirt from Shein and I also got like the gloves and 
the boots the boots i had to diy and i was like kind of procrastinating on actually doing the diy because i was like oh you're just pasting fabric y'all that took me so long i'm crying i don't even know if i'm going but i was like you know what i'm still going to put the fabric on these boots i didn't really think out how to put the material on there where it didn't look bulky or ugly but was still manageable because it was a zip up type boot y'all i did not finish it and it was like 5 a.m and I was so, so, so scared that I was gonna miss Beyonce to the point where I was just like, F it, I don't care anymore. Oh, this is my life ruined da, 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 da. and I just went to sleep. My dad ended up taking me and there I decided to like go to sleep for a little bit and then until like an hour until we got into Atlanta. And then I woke up and started getting my makeup ready and everything. And when I got to the hotel, I put the outfit on, y'all. The outfit that I had for the Renaissance tour <laughs> was this two-piece, like kind of reflective jacket, the kind of same material as the pants, be not the pants, but the boots, because I didn't want to just go there naked with a one piece on. I, I can't do that. I did not wear this two-piece in a long time. And I, of course, gained weight over the years from when I first had it. It was actually on my black-owned business hall. They don't, I don't even think they make that anymore or the boutique is even up anymore. I could barely get up and, like, actually walk. Like, if I had to run, it would have been over with. And it was one of those zip, like, all the way down type things. So every time I had to make sure that my whole heart wasn't showing. And then because the boobs were boobing and we went to a restaurant before the actual concert, I had to zip it up, but it was like, <laughs> I, I remember my little brother had to literally get out around the other car and pull me out of the car like this. Can you see like this, like my legs was like this because I, I just couldn't bend. I couldn't bend at all. And, it was that tight it was that tight and the girl was looking at me like she was like say this is her like in the doorway and the door is open and this is the car and she just sees me doing this and my brother pulling me out like this <laughs> and she was like but i was like hi how are you because who the fuck are you <laughs> you're not that cute babes let me live my life okay this was not meant to be a going out to the restaurant this was meant for beyonce and her concert leave me alone in your judgment you look you dumb bitch starting to look around and have like we saw these different like photo shoot areas that you could go to but they they had lines and the lines were very long and we were like oh we'll come back to it no the tiktok girlies was right if you want to take your pictures take your pictures before the concert begins because it just won't happen but after we saw that we definitely went straight to the merchandise area and when I said I'm gonna get that book, I got the book. Okay, what are you getting again? Um, I'm gonna get the coats, and I'm probably gonna get the fan. The fan? Another fan? Yeah. He brought a fan, and he's about to buy another and fan. fan. And zip. Okay, I'm definitely getting the book. Y'all know I'm obsessed with books. If I was rich, I'd get that damn book. I'm not rich, and I'm still getting that book. My poor spending habits, ladies and gentlemen. I gotta get some shit for other folks. Though. 
Yeah. If you can see. Yada 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 yada. What are you getting? What are you I'm getting? Getting a Renaissance World Tour shirt. Yeah. Guys. Yeah. Yes. Y'all are giving. scratched up like in the wrapper scratched up <sighs> that's one thing i hated about that but i'm a soccer for the look book. and if y'all want like a separate video of just me like flipping through the pages because it's that girl oh my gosh it's just different photos of like the stickers that she has on amazon i have to get those i absolutely this is one of my favorite um poses i'm so ready for the visuals i'm ready for the film i like this i was here <laughs> I was like, I can't believe I'm here. I kept saying to Trent, I can't believe I'm here. I can't believe I'm at a Beyonce concert. Because I am that type that will go around the house at three o'clock in the morning pretending that I'm Beyonce performing, okay? I never really thought I would actually see her perform. Even though I had the tickets for a minute, I still was like, I, I just couldn't believe I was there. As we were sitting down and we were waiting, there were a lot of celebrities there, of course. I remember um, somebody was like, who was that? Because it was a tall person. I was like, Tyler Perry. Not even, you know, really answering for real, only because we were in Atlanta and saw, but it was actually Tyler Perry. And the way I was so excited when I heard people screaming, I was like, is that Chloe? Is that Chloe? Is that Chloe? Oh my gosh, that's Chloe! And I saw Miss Eve that, and I saw somebody with a pink shirt, and I was like, Hi, Oh my gosh, Holly looks so cute! Oh my god! And then it was a video. I was recording. <laughs> I was recording, and she turns around at our section and started waving at our direction. I was like, Oh my god, Chloe! Ariel, we love you. I love them. I love them so much. You can see it better right here. That's him. The time? Yeah. Yeah, that's him. Oh. Oh, that is. That is him. That is. I feel like the paparazzi. Oh, that's him. Oh, that's him. Oh, that's him. Oh, that's him.
the combo. Yeah. Definitely. Y'all they smoking here. But y'all got highly clever together. but I didn't and then she comes up and she's singing dangerously in love and I am like in awe like Beyonce is in the same area as me Some of my favorite moments, I'm not even gonna talk about it. I'ma just do a whole little insert right here. I close my eyes and travel through realms of space and time. Reality holds no power or control of my state of mind on my voyage to find a source to charge my inner being. I'm 
Performer of our generation. 
the concert has ended beyonce has flew she has flown she has ride she has rid and um, she says goodbye and she leaves the stage now we have to leave so that was a problem for me because like i said my dad took me it wasn't like i had a friend or i was by myself where i could just like you know leave i was so like tired i thought i wasn't gonna be able to go to sleep because you know the whole oh let's just tell me i say no i took myself in that hotel room i took a shower and i laid down and i closed my eyes then of course we packed up that next morning and we left i'm coming this late it's 11 49 it's not late late but it's late to the point where i usually don't be talking like this this much to myself <laughs> but i will say this all the tips and tricks that everybody was saying on TikTok, don't listen to them. <laughs> Some stuff, yes. Um, so with the fan, I did get a fan. I used, <laughs> but I, I didn't use it. But it was my like my sister's like little fan that she does like with the nails. But it was like portable and still like usable for the you know the concert fan thing. Cause I didn't have enough time to like actually buy stuff. Um, luckily the air was on and the dorm was the dome was closed. Cause the Augusta, not Augusta, the Atlanta dome opens and usually at her events she has she has it specifically. Y'all see see specifically she had the stadiums open for Renaissance, but that was closed and the air was on, so that was good. We weren't hot. Or nothing like that i will say when people say get there early enough so people won't steal your seat yes do that with any concern because there were people that were still in people's seats like literally next to me like right there next to me they was like oh they was checking tickets i was like yeah and then i would say like right before it began the per the people that if they were actually their seats they were like um can y'all move and luckily it wasn't a whole situation where people were like yelling and shouting and all that and had to get security they just left um so yeah i would definitely <laughs> that's a good tip let me see what else getting extra shoes a bunch of people were out of their heels and out of their shoes yeah you need those those shoes especially if your heels and you don't even real really wear heels like that you need changing shoes and get you a, a a clear bag i will say that was a hit or miss because like i said they were checking some people and other people they weren't so mm -hmm. the next time beyonce goes on tour i'm gonna be in club renaissance or adjacent because they're probably gonna call it somebody something else I want to be up front I want her to point at me and say you ain't no diva if I'm close enough for it okay I don't want to be the victim but you know I can't even do the ear tuck because it's coming this way <laughs> but <sighs> I want her to look at me and be like <clears throat> If you like this video and you want to see more of me, Trinaja G, your favorite new YouTuber, please subscribe. Hit that bell notification so you get all the videos that I'm going to upload all this week. And I will see y'all next time. Bye, my loves. Mwah. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh.